Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, let's build animated charts with Keynote. So back in episode 134, I showed you how to use Keynote to create video titles. And you can also use Keynote's charts feature to build animated charts and put those in your videos as well. So here we are inside of Keynote, we're going to create a new project. Let's just create a standard one with a white background. And then let's get rid of the text here and add a chart. We're just going to add a 3D chart. Might as well make it look nice. And it will stick it here in the middle of the screen. Now we've got some ways to change it. We've got a chart inspector. We've got the chart data editor here. And we have the 3D chart. We can use this 3D chart to move around the 3D perspective. We can use these to adjust the numbers. And we can change the chart type and everything here. So for instance, go with this type of chart instead. Now we've got the basics here and let's say we're not going to change any of this because we're just doing an example. Now what we want to do is have it animate. Right now it will just simply appear when the slide appears. We can have it animate by going to transitions and then selecting the chart which is already selected and you can choose either build in, build out, or build on an action. We're going to choose build in and choose an effect and we're going to see there's a whole bunch of different effects here. The top one here, um, this is specific to the chart so let's do grow and you can see a little preview of how it's going to grow. So we can do all at once or we could say do it by series you can see it builds the dark ones first and the light ones. Let's do it by set, which makes a little more sense. And we can see it build each one like that. So now if you would actually run this as a presentation, you can click and build each one of these pieces here one at a time by clicking. But we're not going to do that. We want to use this as a video effect. So we're going to export it as a video. So we're going to choose export. And we're going to use fixed timing for the advances. And here you can mess with the timing and then we can choose the quality of the format here. And then we'll do the export. We'll save it here to the desktop. And here on the desktop now is this untitled movie. Bring it up and we can play it. We can see it's 14 seconds long. Play it and we have a video representation of the chart build from Keynote. And I can do all sorts of other effects. For instance, let's get rid of this chart here and create a new one. And let's do, say, a 3D pie chart like this. And we have the same thing here with the data editor, the 3D editor over here. Make it look a little more interesting. And then we can switch from the 3D chart here to the transitions, do build in, and then we could choose several things from here. So we do the grow. You can see how it previews right there. We can rotate. So basically spin a little bit. Do both. Even fly in like that and then have the numbers appear. And then we could change the bits like that. So you can end up with a pretty complex effect. So you can take this to the next level by recording audio and timings in Keynote and then when you export as a video it will include your audio and timings. So you can present each part of the 3D chart and animate it along with your narration. So here I've set the chart to grow and do it by wedge. And then I'm going to play but instead of just playing the slideshow I'm going to record a slideshow. Now I'll activate my microphone and allow me to record my voice and then as I click the mouse each section of this chart will grow just as it would in a normal presentation if this was in a slide somewhere in the middle. But it will record my voice with each one and recognize that maybe I take 10 seconds to talk about the first wedge and 2 seconds to talk about the second wedge etc. So now once I've done the record slideshow I can then go to export and I have the additional option to playback using the recorded timing and then also export including the slideshow recording. So when now I export this out I'll have my voice and the timing there included. So this is very useful whenever you're trying to explain a concept using a chart. You can just do all of this video and audio work inside a keynote, export it out, take the resulting video and add it to your iMovie project. 
I hope you found this useful. Till next time, this is Gary Rosenzweig with MacMost Now.